This is the Continuum Lab. I'm Jeppe, musician, maker and your host on this visit. The open horn is made up out of many different components and materials, but the two main materials are bamboo and 3D printed plastic. So I consider these the most important ones because together they form the core structure that everything else is attached to. So in today's video I'll try to briefly explain my criteria in selecting materials and then I take you shopping for the basic parts that we need to start the build of the next batch of open horns. But first, a short disclaimer. The continuum has no end and no beginning. It represents the sum total of all knowledge, stretching from the unnoticeably small and to the incomprehensibly vast. So the Continuum Lab is not really a physical space at all. I think of it as a state of mind, like a mental leap of faith from the comfortable platform of the known and into the infinite ignorance, where learning is the only method of propulsion. Welcome to the Continuum Lab. Now, you might have been wondering where I get this awesome bamboo from, with this patterning in these dark, uh, sort of brown and yellow tones. And the answer is that I have a supplier here in Spain where I live who imports this stuff from China. My supplier has two kinds of bamboo that I really like. One is this so-called leopard spotted bamboo that I'm using in the current open horn prototype. And this piece is an example of the other kind. Uh, this is called black bamboo. And um, although this piece includes, includes much more of the light colored sections than the dark ones, some pieces really are very dark. Uh, as you can see, the patterning is quite different on these two different kinds of bamboo. So those are the two kinds of bamboo that I use uh, in the open horn MIDI system. Now as for the uh, 3D printed plastic, as you can probably tell here in the current prototype, I'm using all black PLA and I only have a little bit left of this, which is why I need to go shopping. I have to say I found the black PLA very aesthetically pleasing in combination with this, this brown and yellow patterning on the bamboo itself. But even so, for the next open horns, I want to try something a little bit different, which is why I'm going to also buy some gold PLA. The color of the gold PLA, once printed, is sort of similar to the yellow tones of the bamboo. So I feel like the black PLA could be used to generate contrast around some areas, and then the gold PLA could be used for some other pieces to more subtly blend into the wood textures of the bamboo itself. At least that's the theory and that's what I intend to experiment with uh, as I go ahead and make some more open horns. So we have some shopping to do. A whole bunch of bamboo and two rolls of PLA plastic. Let's get to it. So down to business. The first thing that I want to shop for is bamboo. Now the uh, current open horn prototype is the size that it is because this beautiful piece of bamboo uh, was this size. Uh, the defining factor here is internodal distance. This is a node, that is a node, and the space in between them is the internodal distance. So in that space I need to be able to fit all of the keys, as well as the, uh, the four belly sections here, and all of the electronics inside that, that go with that. Uh, another solution would be to have a piece of bamboo with a node here, here, and one in the middle. That's also workable and can be aesthetically quite pleasing. Uh, but the problem with that is that such a piece of bamboo would often come from the very base of the bamboo plant and as such it would often have very thick walls um, and uh, that would make the space inside um, much much smaller which would make it hard to fit all of the electronics in there unless you then do some excavating and hollowing out uh, until it's able to fit all of the electronics that need to go in there so, so uh, generally I try to avoid this unless the piece of bamboo is especially appealing, then uh, I might try to work around it. Anyway, I really have no options for fine-tuning my selection of bamboo uh, to that degree. So instead I am able to choose what species of bamboo, uh, what thickness within a, a margin of about a centimeter, and the length uh, from a selection of lengths. It'll be much easier for me to explain to you uh, my logic in selecting the length of the pieces once the bamboo actually gets here and I can show you. But the thickness uh, is pretty well defined. Uh, of the leopard spotted bamboo I get pieces that are between 3 and 4 centimeters thick, which is the size of the current open horn prototype. My plan for the uh, black bamboo is to use it to make slightly larger versions of the open horn, for reasons that again I will explain to you once I have all the material here in the shop and I can actually show you. 
So I'm going to buy pieces that are four to five centimeters in width, which is the same as the larger piece that I showed to you just before. So these two sizes are not randomly selected. Um, think about it, if the bamboo becomes too thin, then the space inside becomes so small that I can't fit all the electronics inside. So that's totally useless. On the other hand, if it becomes too large, then I feel you will end up with an instrument that's just not comfortable to play or carry around and not practical in general. So, um, so these are the two sizes that I'm, uh, I feel that I'm comfortable working with and that I think will be comfortable to play afterwards. So while I take care of the practicalities of uh, that purchase, why don't you listen to some music? And I'm back. So I managed to order some bamboo from my supplier and it should be arriving here uh, in the mail within a few days. Now as far as shopping for plastic for my 3D printer, I honestly don't think I have anything very interesting to say about that. There are plenty of makers online who talk about this stuff at great length, different types of plastic, uh, different qualities, suppliers, pricing, etc. So instead I just went ahead and uh, ordered some plastic. I got a spool of black PLA and a spool of gold PLA and that too shall be arriving here in the lab within a few days. So that's all the shopping taken care of for today. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on my fresh batch of bamboo and start looking for all of the open horns hiding within each piece. But I don't know if uh, that will happen in the next video or in a subsequent one. There's just so much stuff to do. Uh, so over the next few videos I will be diving into Blender where I will be um, improving on some of the uh, flaws in the current design and then at some point my bamboo will arrive and uh, I will be um, inspecting those pieces of bamboo and then selecting and cutting out and cleaning up some uh, open horn sized sections of bamboo which would be very awesome and a bunch of other stuff so uh, until then take care <laughs>